So let me greet you first, a pleasant day sa ating lahat. And uh, this video is actually uh, requested by uh, some students from Eastern Samar. So hello sa inyong lahat dyan. When we are going outside or going somewhere, it's been part of our routine to check ourselves. If we are uh, presentable or professional, hindi tayo lalabas ng bahay nang hindi tayo tumingin sa salamin or hindi tayo nagsupply. It only means that we put ourselves into considerations and the same is true when we are talking all about social responsibility. So, but before that, no, we all know that a social responsibility is uh, one of the areas of business that the firms need to observe and practice. As it is one of the uh, mandates of our national government, then when we are talking about corporate social responsibility, makikita rin natin dito yung iba't ibang um, phases ng mga businesses kung paano ba sila nagre-respond kapag pinag-uusapan ang social responsibility. And for this video nga, we will talk the different phases of social responsibility. This is actually four at, at lang kauna-unahan sa phases na to is yung tinatawag nating legal and responsible. So, the business obey laws and regulation and do what is right, fair and just. Businesses are engaged in social responsible and ethical behavior in business. So, when we say legal and responsible, no, yung mga businesses ay nagre-respond sila sa kung ano yung mga mandates at kung ano yung mga ipinatutupad ng national government natin when it comes to business policies. So, sumusunod sila doon, ini-implement nila yon sa kanilang uh, negosyo and of course, um, pinapatupad nila yung mga programa nila sa kanilang social responsibility. So, let's say for example, a company ABC is a uh, manufacturing firm of paper. So, so ano sila? Um, engage sila sa pagmamanufacture ng mga papel. And nowadays, we are so much aware and we are so much uh, concerned about the natural environment including our uh, trees. No? And now, sa sitwasyon ng industriya sa paggawa ng mga papel dito sa ating bansa, the firm should consider the different mandates of our national government concerning about the uh, protection of our natural resources. So, this paper manufacturing will be considered uh, legal and responsible kung sumusunod sila sa mga policies, rules, and uh, different regulations being implemented by our national government. And at the same time, of course, pinapractice nila ang pagiging socially uh, responsible nila towards their different stakeholders. They are considered legal and responsible if they give importance to uh, ethical code of conducts. Okay, the next one is the legal and irresponsible. So, the firm obeys laws and regulations and do what is right, fair, and just. However, the business is not engaged in socially responsible and ethical behavior. So, let us use the same example, si company ABC as a uh, paper manufacturing company. So, when when do we say na yung company is legal pero considered as irresponsible? So, kapag sumusunod sila sa mandato ng ating national government about business policies at ginagawa nila yung mga dapat gawin regarding sa uh, tamang pag implement ng business pero hindi nila pinapractice ang social responsibility, it means the business is irresponsible because it do not put any considerations uh, towards their stakeholders. Example, the business is legally operating in the country, may mga business permit sila, nagbabayad sila ng tamang tax sa gobyerno, 
But the problem is they are continuously uh, cutting trees na walang any sense of sustainability para mas marami lang silang maiproduce na product sa market. So it means that they are legally operating pero hindi naman sila socially responsible. That is the second phase of social responsibility. So the third one is illegal and responsible. In this time, the company do not obey laws and regulations and do not practice what is right, fair, and just. But the firm is engaged in socially responsible in business. So in this phase, si company naman is nag-offerate nga sila ng illegal pero they are socially responsible. So meron pa rin silang sense of responsibility sa society na na kinabibilangan nila. So take note that the firm is a socially responsible alone. Hindi sila pwedeng i-consider as nagpa-practice uh, ng ethical uh, behavior dahil hindi nga sila nag-ooperate ng legal. At hindi nga sila sumusunod sa mandates ng ating national government. And the last phase about um, uh, social responsibility is that the firm do not obey the mandated rules and regulations and of course they do not engage in any socially responsible and ethical behavior. So in this point in time, yung mga business organizations ay illegal and irresponsible. So actually this is the worst among the four. Uh, the business in this phase of social responsibility seems to be uh, illegal and irresponsible. Hindi nga sila sumusunod sa mga business policies and um, engage sila sa mga social irresponsibility activities. So ano ba yung example ng, ng social irresponsible activities? So kapag ang isang negosyo ay gumagawa ng hindi maganda para sa kanilang mga stakeholders okay, hindi na isa sa alang-alang yung interest ng kanilang mga stakeholders such as uh, environment, community, society and other stakeholders so they are doing wrong in relation to those stakeholders nagpa-practice sila ng social irresponsibility so meaning to say kapag ang, ang company ay hindi sumusunod sa kung ano yung batas na ini-implement ng government pertaining to the legal operations of business and at the same time, engage sila sa mga uh, social irresponsible activities nandun sila sa fourth phase ng social responsibility. Okay, so these are the four uh, phases of social responsibility. I hope that through this video, nakatulong tayo sa ating mga mini-mentor na students from Eastern Samar. So, thank you and God bless everyone.